the nation builders call NAPCO was introduced by government with the objective of providing temporary jobs for unemployed graduates and to among other things use the beneficiaries to boost its revenue collection. Each trainee was expected to receive 700 Ghana cities as a stipend every month but shortly after the program kicked off some beneficiaries started agitating over the unpaid allowances and it doesn't look like the protest will end anytime soon this is not the first time that we are coming to this secretariat now and yet nothing has been done about it meanwhile we have heard our ceo admit that indeed there are issues of arrears that need to be cleared and we all know that arrears are monies that are supposed to have been paid earlier on so if you are going to clear arrears it means you have the money or it's not with the money that you used to clear the arrears. You have the money. So if you have the money and you have also admitted that indeed arrears are there, then why is it taking too long to pay this thing? Within a space of six months from May till now, and we have not received anything. So we have come again to ask why they have refused to pay us. Since the month of August, we've been told arrears will be cleared up to date. In the month of September, we were told arrears will be cleared. September ended, they paid others their stipends for the month of September. We were given deadlines in the month of October that all areas will be cleared and some were cleared and some of us were still left hanging. You get it? So we can't rely on the information that they are giving us that we would be paid on this specific date, this week, this month because it never comes true. Wednesday on the 16th October when we were here demanding for our rightful money on the very night, 9 p.m., they started paying. Ask yourself, is Gibbs working at that time? Where do they get the money from? If you're saying you don't have information about us, that our coordinators have not validated us, that's based on that, you are not paying us. You started paying people. The following day, 17th, you pay some, some section. I will tell you that it's only a small section of the, of the, uh, uh, of the unpaid uh, NAPCO arrest uh, trainees who were paid, a lot of them across the regions, length and breadth. They don't have money if not they would have come here some hundred thousand graduates were reportedly recruited by the program to assist in the delivery of public sector services they were put under modules such as educate ghana heal ghana feed ghana revenue ghana digitize ghana enterprise ghana and civic ghana while the beneficiaries say the initiative is good they believe it can only get better if the relevant authorities do the needful. Not that we are ungrateful in a way or we are saying NAPCO is not a good initiative. NAPCO is a very good initiative, but I would say they are managing it or those who have been put in charge are managing it in a bad, in a bad manner, you get it. We appreciate this initiative. We thank the president for coming up with such an initiative and implementing it. But we plead with him to speak to those he has put in charge of NAPCO. Because they can't tell me that at the end of the month, if none of them are paid by the end of the month, if they'll be working, not to talk of six months or ten months. We, we thank our president for bringing these good initiatives. It has helped some of us. We know the positives this initiative have, have brought to us. But can you imagine in this hard time, you hold people starting for five months, six months. What exactly do you want us to do? It's becoming horrible. No NAPCO trainee will ever delay his stipends just for nothing. I, I don't know. Uh, 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 NAPCO trainees are not being paid. But they will tell you that 100,000 have been paid. We, we acknowledge the fact that he's helping us. But to, to be frank, it's a good initiative. But we are not being paid. So are we, are we progressing or what? We are working and you are not being paid for six good months, nine months, three months. The NAPCO secretariat on the other hand says those who have not received the allowances are to blame because they haven't validated their details but the beneficiaries have debunked the allegation saying they fill validation forms from napco officials almost on monthly basis he complained of time sheets we the napco trainees don't submit time sheets on time but i tell you i have photocopies of this that's why i came along with them from may up to today october I have photocopies, so is my other colleagues. They have photocopies. He talk about time uh, uh, e switch card being a problem. I, I, I tell you, those problems have been resolved long ago. Those with GM Bank and whatever, they have they have resolved those problems. In another thing, GM Bank with e switch, those who are doing the national service, they have been paid. The same e switch gives Galanta Bank payment system. Pay them, 
doing using their east switch how can they pay the napco trainees who have duly worked okay you have to borrow money take transport sometimes you have to take two cars to our destination and work without anything you borrow money they are chasing us out of our our, our room because we promise people that we will pay them, pay them, pay them. Up to today, we are not being paid. When it comes to issues concerning attending anniversaries and then issues concerning paying 10 CDs to support whatever that they claim we should support, that one, everybody receives the message at the same time, indicating that it is possible for all of us to receive pay at the same time. So if you can do those ones at the same time, how, 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 what about this one? Why are we not getting this one to the same time? The beneficiaries say they are considering demonstrating at a later date to put more pressure on government right from here we are going to the police office to um to police station to apply for permits in order to to stage a, a demonstration because it seems that is what they are they understand now for six months we have been saying pay 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 so now you can't do it then we have to stage a demonstration demonstration and that's what we are going to do it appears that the impasse between the napco secretariat and some unpaid napco beneficiaries it's not ending anytime soon, as some of the beneficiaries picket this morning at the head office to demand for their locked up allowances. Reporting from the head office of NAPCO here in Accra, I'm Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News.